Hey everyone, in today's video, we're gonna be unboxing and flipping through the Sacred Self-Care Oracle. Hey everyone, welcome back to Living by the F Word. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. It means a lot to me. Today we are unboxing and flipping through the Sacred Self-Care Oracle, which is by Jill Ply. Guys, this was a rough flip through and filming for me. There was so much that happened. I talked about it a little bit in another video, but basically I had, I set the intention to do a bunch of unboxings and I was really excited. And long story short, my camera was frozen. It kept bricking. I sliced the box open. There was just so many things that happened and then it ended up not even filming because my camera was so broken. I ended up getting a new camera, which is now what I currently film on. So there was just so many things going on as far as unboxing this. And then even during the unboxing, other things happened because I was setting up my new camera and the microphone was super staticky and there was all these settings that were off. And so it was a rough one to get through. So if it's a little choppy just cause I edit some things out, just know, I apologize. I am not trying to make it not, you know, pleasurable to watch. I want you to look at the cards and enjoy yourself, especially since it's a self-care Oracle. So just know that I did my best and sorry if it, if there's any, moments within the video that it's a little bumpy shit happens anyways if you're new to my channel i'm jess i'm a fine artist flight attendant and festival enthusiast and i talk about f words that i'm passionate about here on my channel i also talk about card divination tarot oracle and lenormand cards and do flip throughs and unboxings i love co collecting cards and it's one of my biggest passions. So if you're passionate about any of those things, please consider liking this video and please consider subscribing. That way you could be a part of my community and see all my videos. Without further ado, let's get into the table and look at the cards. Hey everyone, welcome back to Living by the F Word. I am doing a unboxing today for the Sacred Self-Care Oracle by Jill Ply. So I'm not sure how I'm gonna be doing these unboxing videos. I'm not sure if I'm going to talk a little bit in the beginning and show you uh, the deck or if I'm just gonna come straight to the table here and just talk and not even show you my face. I'm not really sure how I'm gonna do it, but I wanted to just explain that I had actually unboxed this and I did it the other night and my camera kept freezing up and it became quite an unpleasant unboxing video because I was stressed out because my camera was freezing, it was not working and ultimately I guess the universe decided that I shouldn't have been sharing that video because it ended up never even recording to the memory card. So I am filming with a new camera today and I put the cards back in order and I will be showing them to you. So actually when I started this unboxing, I had the plastic on it and I sliced the box right open. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it at all with the magnifying glass there, but that was how the unboxing started in the first video and then with my camera freezing it i'm sure you could feel the negative energy throughout the video and so perhaps that's why it wasn't actually recording even though i thought it was recording my camera was just really messed up it won't even turn on anymore so enough about that i really in love this deck when i went through it the first time uh, the reason why i wanted to go through it with you was simply because i need to start taking care of myself more and i think a lot of us need to i think a lot of us forget to practice self-care daily it's something that i try to do uh, there are many things that i try to do to practice self-care in my life, whether it be journaling or meditation or exercise or pulling tarot, reading Oracle, whatever you wanna, you wanna do. I mean, everyone has their own ways to take care of themselves, but 
I am a big, big advocate for doing some type of self-care routine during your day. And that's why when I was having a rough night the other night, I really wanted to share this deck and then it basically, the whole video and everything got messed up. Oh my goodness, I am so sorry about all of this. I am like wondering if maybe I'm not meant to share my cards with people, but I don't believe that because I find great pleasure watching other people's unboxing videos. And so I want to unbox my cards and share them with people that might be interested in learning about card divination. So I understand that this is really choppy. I'm pretty sure I'm good to go, go now and that it's not staticky. I'm not sure why halfway through the video it decided to get all staticky, but we are gonna do this again. And I set a light up this time, which I think it will help out since it is starting to get dark out now. So let's get into the cards. I'm not sure what I read or didn't read or what I'm gonna be editing out of this, so I'm just gonna start all over again. So, this is the Sacred Self-Care Oracle. It is by Jill Ply, who is the CEO and co-founder of Goddess Provisions, and its illustrations are by Tatiana Vendakina. It's a 55 card deck with guidebook, and the back reads, Treat yourself like a goddess. Connect with your intuition and deepen your self-care practice with the sacred self-care oracle. This whimsically illustrated deck will help you create rituals to nourish you on the deepest levels your soul is calling for, inviting you to ask, what do I need to feel centered and balanced today? How can I connect with my body's intuition if I only have a short time for me this week? How should I spend it? Whether you find meaning in the cards alone or consult the in-depth guidebook for mantras, journal prompts, and additional guidance, this powerful healing tool for the modern spirit seeker gives you permission to put self-care at the top of your to-do list. All right, so I love the boxes that Hay House comes out with. The publisher is Hay House, and I actually got this on a sale they do a annual 50% off sale and I got three Oracle decks and two new books to read. So yay, that was exciting. And I had been eyeing this one for a little while because I really think self-care is important. And lately I have been lacking in my self-care ritual and I feel like this would be a good reminder to do at least one thing before I start my day or to do or accomplish at least something for myself and my mentality sometime throughout my day. So I like these boxes because they're super thick. Okay. We have the guidebook here. I'm wondering if my light's a little too bright now. All right. So we have the guidebook here. The inside of the box is beautiful, okay? And then we also have the inside of this box. So it says, take care of yourself so you can shine your soul's light. Really beautiful boxes. Okay, let's get to the cards, take three. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't even express how happy I'm gonna be when this video finally gets uploaded because it has been tiring and it's been definitely pushing my patience a little bit. Uh, something that should be fun and pleasurable for me has been quite the adventure for this one. So once again, here we go. Let's take a look at the cards. Okay. So we have abundance planning and with the light, it might be too bright actually. Okay. 
There we go. All right, so we have abundance planning. And what I like about this card is this little kitty, which reminds me a lot of the uh, Chinatown piggy banks that wave their hand kind of. And then you have the money, of course, and then we have someone sitting and journaling and they are writing down different, you know, ways to plan to create abundance in their life, to, I guess with money for the most part. So it says, living expenses, education and business, self-development, savings, travel, free, keep track of your finances, don't shop when you're hungry. Okay. Up next we have alone time. And my life path card is the hermit in the tarot and so I am very familiar with spending time alone and I definitely don't mind it. It's something I have learned to love quite to be honest with you. So uh, I like that card. Okay. Okay. So we have aromatherapy. Maybe the light isn't a good idea. I might have to take the this off autofocus. I seem to always have trouble. I'm not sure how other tarot channels get their camera to autofocus so awesome and like there's no problems but mine is definitely giving me a lot of issues i don't have a vaporizer or any type of essential oils so this might be interesting to work with at some point oh yeah let me flip these over so you can see the backs these are the backs by the way okay Be still. beauty ritual and she's giving herself some henna and painting her nails and I love the pastel colors throughout this deck they're really warm and inviting and calming so I really love the they're like still colorful enough but simple this is probably one of my favorite cards build strength it reminds me a lot of myself because when I usually lift and work out, I wear gloves and yeah, I really am a fan of this card. I'm guessing this is the sweet spot. I guess I can't bring them any closer for you. Okay. Burning bowl ritual. This one means a lot to me because typically I'd be at Burning Man this week and you practice letting go and burning things that are no longer serving you in your life at Burning Man and she is writing a bunch of different things down and it says to let go and she's burning it. And so typically that's what I'd be doing this week is looking at beautiful artwork and just practicing the 10 principles and being with an amazing community and burning a lot of stuff that I need to release. But I think I still will do this this week. Even if I pull it or not, I think I might do some type of burn ritual. 
All right, now we have chanting. And you could see that spiral coming from the throat chakra. So that's cool. Clean your space. I don't know how anyone else feels about this, but I love it. I am a firm believer that in order to declutter your mind, you need to declutter your space. And there are a lot of times where I feel like I can't accomplish a project unless I give my room or my studio a deep clean. So I am definitely a fan of this card. All right, now we have clear your energy field. I think this card is gorgeous. She is using a floral sage bun bundle and she is saging her, her field around her and her aura is just glowing afterwards. And I think I actually need to do this myself, especially after all the trouble I've been having trying to get this video filmed. <laughs> I definitely think I need to burn some sage in here. Connect with crystals. This is something I'm still learning about. I obviously have a lot of crystals. I know what they mean, but I am still learning how to use them to their full potential. All right, connect with fire. It is, there is something peaceful about standing around a fire and just the warmth of it, but also looking at it crackling and how dangerous it can be. It's a really interesting element. Okay, now we have connect with earth. And I love this card because I am a Taurus. I am an earth sign and I really just, I'm enjoying the outfit she has on, but I love that there's crystals in the forest and I just love that she's in the forest and actually standing on a tree. And forests are just super, they're, they could be like really beautiful and I absolutely love the look of them, but they also can be kind of scary in a way if you think about it, because you could get lost or go off the path, or there could be maybe some larger animals that are protective of their territory. So really interesting that for Connect With Earth, she's standing in a forest. Connect with your ancestors. So connect with spirit maybe even. Maybe not necessarily even your ancestors, but they do have a family tree here and the DNA spiral. Really pretty cards. I really, really love these cards. Connect with your womb, which is also just another gorgeous card. Wonder if I can like somehow show you the detail, probably not. My camera hates me, sorry guys. I wonder if I, hmm. no, I'm just not even gonna mess with it. Well, I hope you could see this well enough. I really do. Lots of times, some of the first unboxings that I've done, which I'm very new to this, so I keep saying that, but it's so true. I'm really trying to find a setup that I like and I think this is it. However, I really want to figure out a way where I can show you the card from a distance but also close up because I think it's really important because people that watch these want to see the cards they want to you know connect with the cards on their own level and I mean look this is so it's just blurry because of my crystals in the background so okay so we have make an altar I have a very small altar in my room it's on top of my bookshelf and typically I will have actually these crystals on there with any of the cards that I pick for the day. So 
when I do my daily card draws, they sit on top of my altar and it's very simplistic, which I love about this card because she has a very simplistic altar. There's some people on YouTube that have such complex altars and there's witchy people like true witches out there that are very passionate about their altars and they switch it with the seasons and with the moon phases and it's super interesting. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty, I don't know, basic, I guess, when it comes to altars. So this card will be interesting to work with. Cree art. Hmm. I'm trying to adjust the lighting because Everything was working before and then it was staticky. Now I have light on and it's not focusing. So I'm trying so hard guys to remain positive. There's just so much stuff that keeps happening that it's really difficult. Okay, there we go. I definitely feel like I need to create something soon too. I don't know what, but I need to create something. Okay. We have dance. There definitely is something about dancing and listening to music. Okay. We have deep breathing. Oh, guys, I think I found the new sweet spot for you. Oh my gosh, please bear with me. I'm so happy. Yay! This is awesome. I really hope that you guys have stuck with me so far since I'm not even halfway through. <laughs> deep breathing can be very helpful. And, and honestly, there's like really there's people that study breathing. So that is something else that <sighs> I got to remind myself of. Okay. We have dream journal. And I actually have a dream journal right here. Um, my dream journal is by Caitlin Keegan and she is the illustrator of the first tarot deck that I ever got the illuminated tarot. So I actually wrote in this, uh, yesterday. So it is interesting to kind of piece together what's going on in your life because of your dreams. We have drink tea, which I absolutely want to do right now. In fact, I feel so thirsty only because this is now like my third time recording this and my throat is wondering why I'm talking so much. <laughs> mm, tea with honey sounds amazing right now. All right. Okay, so we have energy work with the chakras. That is another self-care practice that I need to learn and I know that the crystals align with different chakras, so that is something that I am working on as well. There's just so much to learn when it comes to how we're all connected and energies and different types of ways to heal through the connections of earth and your body. So, so much to learn. I wish I had gotten into this way earlier in my life, but I didn't. And so here we are. <laughs> I adore this card. It reminds me a lot of me and my sister for some reason, because she gives the best hugs and this is pretty much how I feel when I hug my sister. It just seems like 
I just love how they're swirled together and growing and the hairs flowing. We have that crescent moon there for the intuition and thought process and it's just, it's just a beautiful card. This is a beautiful card. All right. We have flow like water, which this card also, I mean, this entire deck is beautiful. This is now my, let's see, third time looking through it basically, because I've, the first time I recorded, it actually didn't record. The second time I recorded half the deck, it was staticky. So here we are the third time and it's just a gorgeous deck. I love the pastel colors. Like I know I mentioned that before, but the illustrations are beautiful too. Ground yourself with the roots there. Now what I find interesting about this card is she's meditating but her hands are facing upward and normally when you want to receive you have your palms facing up and when you want to be grounded you have your palms facing towards the ground. So it's kind of interesting but then you have all these roots coming from her heart. health checkup. This is a great card to have in this deck because this is something that I think a lot of people forget about or aren't too good about, or maybe it's just me, but I actually just made a ton of doctor's appointments because I'm probably getting furloughed and won't have health insurance. So <laughs> I just made my, all the doctor's appointments that you could ever think of, I just made for next week. Hydrate. I need to send this to my friend Aisa. She would love this card. All right. Come on, sweet spot, where are you? Well, number 28 is intuition, okay, and there we go. I'm also just loving the space, the outer space theme with a lot of the black that is in this deck. So you have like all the color contrasting with the outer space theme and it's just gorgeous. has her third eye open really cool okay we have journal which if any of my subscribers are watching this you know that I love to journal I like to bullet journal I like to I actually just started a new journal for tarot and Lenormand and Oracle strictly so I have my dream journal. I'm a very, I'm very big on journaling. That is something I believe is very healthy for people to do to get their thoughts out on paper, to write their feelings. It's really great self-care practice. This card was made for my mom. And it's look for fairies. which is something new to me. We have look to the stars and we have all the astrology symbols there and the different moon phases. So that's really fun with some shooting stars. I like that a lot.
we have make a meal and this looks like a very healthy meal and I can vouch for this card that when you meal prep healthy meals and you're eating healthy for the week it really does make you feel good combined with all these other self-care practices this can actually be way more helpful than a lot of people think All right, we have make a vision board. And I actually got this card in a reading when I was watching Liz from Charmed Intuition. I watch her channel a lot. That's actually how I found this deck was she was like, let me shuffle you a secret self-care oracle card and I was like a self a self-care oracle oh my gosh what I was like I love self-care stuff I love self-help books I love self-care rituals so I had this on my list for quite some time which is why I got it during the sale but this was the card that I got in my reading and I really love it um you know I actually ended up watching a YouTube video about how to to make a vision board correctly so that you actually can manifest what your true desires are so it's really it, it's just another way to get something down on paper instead of writing and journaling you can make a vision board and have it come true so what i like about this is it says listen to your art I am healthy, I believe in me, morning yoga, be an inspiration, and then there's pictures with loved ones, and then there's also the tarot card, the high priestess, which is all about trusting your intuition, and so this is a fun little card there. Okay. It's massage, number 34 is massage. I'm trying to get it to our little sweet spot up front here for you so that you can, so you can see it better. There we go. There we go. Yeah, foot massage, neck massage, back massage, hand massage. Loosen up those aches. Okay, of course, we have meditate, which I have not done in a long time, and it is showing because I've been getting very agitated lately. I could just tell, you know, it's been a very stressful environment for me. I've been trying to remain positive between everything, but it's just, it just feels like everything's happening at once in my life. Broken camera, got to get a new camera. My car's broken, got to get a new car. Getting furloughed next month, quite possibly. Um, you know, I don't, I'm hoping that the CARES Act will go through and that aviation jobs are going to get saved, but I, I'm just not sure. So that's just a stressor. And then there's, you know, like I said before, some family stuff going on. So everything's just stressful. And I really just need to bring back daily meditation to my life because it really is amazing how sitting in silence, even if you feel like distracted within your mind, it's so easy to get right back into following your breath and it really is such a incredible practice so i need to start doing that again by the way anything that you feel like i'm trying to convince you to do i'm not i'm just really talking to myself <laughs> i know that i need to do a lot of these things in order to get my life back in order and to feel my true self again so we have movement which this card is gorgeous and i love it so much because movement could be as simple as stretching and stretching even though you know 
many people don't feel like it's like a full body exercise. It really is. It it could help you even if you don't have to, if you don't have time to actually My camera stopped recording, so I'm not sure why, but I was going to say even if you don't have time to exercise stretching, I like to usually actually combine stretching with affirmations. That's something I really enjoy doing. All right, we have music. Play music, listen to music. I guess it really doesn't matter how you do it, but. All right. Nourish your temple. Plan a vacation. I love the 737. It looks like a 737 to me. I think we all need a vacation. <laughs> this card. Oof. Pleasure. I mean. This card is gorgeous. I love the floral aspect of it. I just like how the artist used the color to express different zones to work on. And then here we have positive affirmations. So this is what I was saying, how I absolutely love to stretch and say positive affirmations, like I combine the two. And the other night, actually, when I shuffled this deck after I did the the first flip through that I thought I did that never recorded because my camera was broken, uh, I pulled this card, Positive Affirmations. And I really do think I need to start saying more loving things to myself because it's so true. The energy you put out is what you get back. And things have been really kind of even though I've been trying to remain positive, it's definitely been more stressful and I'm not loving myself enough and giving myself enough credit for all the things I'm trying to do. Even if, if they're not coming out in the timeline I want them to, I'm definitely not telling myself enough positive things. But yeah, I love myself. Brave, beautiful, worthy, grateful, healthy, happy. I choose love. That's what it says on this card. We have read, which I think I'm going to do that tonight. I have two new books, including some of the new decks I got, but I have two new books. And one of them, I can't think of the exact title, but it's The Universe Has Your Back or The Universe Has a Plan or The Universe Always Has a Plan or something like that. So that's going to be a good one for me to read with everything going on right now, just to kind of, you know, I'm a firm believer and everything happens for a reason. So I kind of just want to reiterate that with by reading that book. Okay. We have sex. Number 44. And these cards are just, lots of feminine energy too. I just like, I love it. I can't find my sweet spot again. There we go. So the other card we had was pleasure and that seemed like it was more of pleasuring yourself and giving yourself pleasure. And this seems more of having a partner Okay, rest. This is so important, but many driven people forget <laughs> to <laughs> just chill and give your brain a break. All right, now we have sing. 
I will say some of these cards are very similar. Like you have music, you have sing, you have the meditate card with also, there was another card that was really similar to the meditation card. You have pleasure and sex. So lots of similar cards, but depending on the guidebook, might have a different meaning or maybe to you might have a different meaning. So, I mean, I'm still digging it. Like I think the illustrations are beautiful and you can never have enough self care in your life, right? Am I right? Okay, so we have soak in a bath. You ever see those Instagram accounts that have the most gorgeous bath setup with candles and floral and Oh my gosh, it is like insane how these people have their bathroom set up. It's so gorgeous. Okay, we have sound healing. And this card reminds me so much of my friend Jessie. I need to send it to her. She is a yoga instructor and she also does sound healing as well. And it just reminds me so much of her. I love her and miss her so much. Spend time with animals. <laughs> Friends, this is quite the adventure trying to get through this deck unboxing. My memory card got full and I had tried to drop footage before so that wouldn't happen. And my memory card reader doesn't want to work on my computer for some reason. So I went upstairs and I tried to transfer it on a different laptop that I have and it took forever and so then I had dinner and now I'm back. So we left off at spend time with animals and then it cut me off. I had like this cute little giggle going on. I know it was like adorbs but I think because it reminds me of my sister. She really loves animals. All right, then we have spend time with friends. I definitely feel like this is lacking for me lately. I was supposed to go to my friend's birthday and weather postponed it and then I had work when I, when the rescheduled date was. So I feel like I haven't seen many friends in a while. So, okay, here we have sweet treat. Oh, I hope I don't pull this card too much because now I'm trying to start my fitness journey again and I definitely want to stay away from the sweet stuff. I have a really big sweet tooth, so. Take a walk. I love this card. I love how it's a person and the path is within her and her hair is that that uh, galaxy theme that I was talking about. Really pretty, these cards. Sync with the moon. I actually have a lot of decks, tarot decks, that have to do with the moon phases. So that's something else I need to look into so much to learn it's this is why cards and divination and all this type of i don't know work i guess you could call it like inner work or connections I, i'm not sure like is one of my favorite things because i just think that there's so much to learn like you really could study this and spend a great deal of time learning about these things and bettering yourself. Okay. Use your hands. So get crafty. She's making a clay pot. All right, watch a movie. And our final card is write a gratitude list. I love bullet journaling gratitude pages. If you're not familiar with bullet journals, you could just look it up on Pinterest. It's when people 
they um, basically they design tables or different types of drawings that represent charts almost like and things you want to keep track of like trackers or like a gratitude list but like in a decorative way I really enjoy them all right so these cards by the way that was really let's redo that I'm not the best shuffler but they do shuffle well I'm not the best shuffler I will say that the last time I got positive affirmations when I first did this unboxing and I thought I was recording so let's see what we get this time since this will actually go live on the channel oops I'm really bad at uh getting the top part of the shuffle I'm, I'm not a rifler rifle shuffler either and I'm not the best at shuffling I always miss the top ones that's why I end up always just usually overhand shuffling until a card sticks sticks out or flies out that's like what I typically like to do um but since these are new we gotta keep giving them a good one but yeah, the cardstock is like nice with these, by the way. It's like, you know, pretty good. I think Hay House does a good job with most most of the their cards. Jeez, that was awful. All right. What does this group need to do right now for some self-care? What do they need? Oops. What do they need? Oop. Write a gratitude list. <laughs> Or do your bullet journal, like I said. You know what I mean? Oh, come on. There we go. Write a gratitude list. Let's see what it says in the book. Number 55. All right. Let me see if I could. All right. There we go. Ultimately, the only thing that we can fully control is our thoughts. To call in good vibes, write a list of things that you're grateful for. It can be for any given day or just a general list of the good stuff in life. Reflect on past difficult situations to uncover the lessons that were hidden in them. Feel gratitude for how everything has evolved to land you where you are now. Practicing gratitude allows us to shift back to the present moment and recognize how divinely orchestrated life truly is. Holding on to resistance and expectations keeps us attached to our suffering. When we take time to constantly and authentically express our appreciation for others, we receive gratitude in return. This process creates a beautiful cycle of positivity that propels us forward and into a more positive and stable experience of life. Journal prompt, what are you grateful for? How can you show more gratitude daily? So I feel like that was the perfect card to, well, end the deck with number one and number two end this video with because I was starting to get a little upset and frustrated again over little things you know my camera was broken then i got a new camera i kept stopping recording first it was staticky when i i guess my microphone wasn't set up properly on this new camera then it was staticky and then i had to re-record this for the third time and then my memory card got full ah! it was like one thing after another after another so I usually leave whatever I pull. If I don't put it on my altar, I leave it in the top so I could reflect on it when I either open it the next day or I will go put it on my altar. But that was the Sacred Self-Care Oracle. I 
Hope you stuck with me. I hope you enjoy this deck. I think it's an absolutely beautiful deck. And please consider subscribing to my channel if you are interested in F-words or anything Tarot, Lenormand, and Oracle related. See you in the next video, guys. Bye.